hi friends this is to show the da uh, doormat with the help of uh, waist cloth uh, so this is the doormat pattern uh, see how the color combinations looks very nice uh, now i'm going to show how to tie the saree uh, you should uh, take a full saree and cut it vertically So this is how you tie the sari. So this is how you tie the sari vertically. So it should be straight. So don't cut it at the end so it looks like a ribbon. So this is how you just fold your sari and keep like a ball. So this is how you make the ball. So now the tari, uh, uh, sari has been cut very well and it has made as a ball. So now we are going to put a knot at the end of the uh, a sari to make a doormat see this is how the knot should be so i'll again show you in close picture see this is a close view of the knot Put a normal knot so it can be loose or stretch as you can. So using this pin, this is a crochet pin, this is how you spin this slowly. Five knots at least you spin with five knots first so as soon as you get the length so this is the length so you're going to join both the ends like this See so after spinning this is the position you get and you are going to continue with this round. This is how the round goes bigger and bigger. So you can spin it as much as uh, long or extension you want. So after spinning, so like this you will get. So you can use the color combinations like this with the two or three saris. And I will show you how to end this doormat now. So this is a finishing. If you're going to add a, another color to this mat, so you can tie up one end 
and started spinning like this After this completion of the door, um, put a normal stitch at the end. See end like this, and put a stitch here uh, so that the stitch won't uh, the stitch should be tight and it won't come again. So this is the door mat. Enjoy, friends.